can we create life using science or is there a soul atma that's a good question so people have been trying to do various chemical experiments to try and replicate the environment that was present in the very early earth when the earth was very young about 4 billion or so years ago the earth is about 4 4 and a half billion years old if i am not in, very mistaken you know roughly that, that much and the very early earth was very different from what it is today it was it was hell we would find it hell you know that's how it was it was a very hot dense swirling environment there was a lot of bombardment happening from the from space because of uh, various impacts from space debris from the early solar system the atmospheric composition was very different the planet was very hot the gases were different and all that and that is the environment in which life first emerged on our planet so scientists chemists biochemists etc et they try to replicate that environment environment in a test tube and they try to create various and they try to see if life can emerge from there so what they find is that various uh complex organic compounds carbon compounds do emerge from that even amino acids etc they do emerge from these experiments when you take these these mixture of gases and liquids and you put them in a test tube and you heat them to a certain uh, certain temperature or you pass electricity through them and all that and you keep doing that for hours or days then you find that complex chemistry does arise out of it and yet we have never been actually able to to create life you know unicellular life or anything like that out of it thus far so thus far it seems that we are unable to create life out of chemicals and chemistry and and, and using science thus far it's not been possible maybe it may be possible in the future we don't know the exa- exact origin of life on our planet did it actually emerge spontaneously in the primeval atmos- uh, atmosphere and environment of our planet or is it something that was seeded from outside from a cometary impact is it some this the pan the panspermia theory says that dna and the seeds of life may have come from from interstellar space because we find that certain asteroids and meteors and even comets contain complex carbon compounds organic compounds even amino acids etc that are we know they are the building blocks of of organic life so the jury is still out there we don't know where life came from thus far we have been unable to create synthetic life forms using chemistry biochemistry etc so as of today it's not possible in the future we don't know it may perhaps be possible and now what about the soul well the soul is uh there is a, a dividing line between science and philosophy right Phil- uh, science is a subset of philosophy but philosophy so science is a part of philosophy but philosophy is not a part of science and spirituality again is not part of science science deals with observable phenomena and physical objects only that is the limitation of science it has very hard boundaries only physical objects only observable phenomena now the soul is not a physical object i think everybody would agree and it's not an observable phenomenon right we cannot see the soul we can't measure it we can't detect it we don't know its properties it doesn't have physical properties it is believed to be something that transcends the physical world right and therefore it is not something that science can describe or experiment or even talk about it is something that belongs in the realm of philosophy and spirituality i am not in any way denigrating the um, the concept of the soul or i am in no way trying to uh, ma- mock anybody who believes in the soul i think most people on this planet believe that there are souls in human beings and other other be other also other beings as well i am sure even lots of scientists believe it whether they express that belief or not but the concept of the soul is not something that's part of science and therefore i cannot answer the question as a scientist whether the, whether there's a soul or, or not as far as we know we have never seen any experimental evidence or observational evidence of the existence of the soul and yet one cannot rule it out even from the perspective of, of science something that has not been observed the doesn't mean it doesn't exist the absence of evidence is not the evidence of absence right so the soul is something that is beyond science maybe in the future some day science may advance that much that maybe we may actually be able to uh perhaps detect 
the soul if it does exist or not but as of today i can't say i don't, i have no evidence that the soul exists or doesn't exist right so that's where we are uh, from the perspective of science 